We Were on a Break by Lindsay Kelk. Wow, I hated this book. Contrary to my opinion before starting this book, this is not a romance novel. No, it is a really boring adult novel about two people who need to figure out their lives and relationships because their lives suck because they don't know how to do anything. The plot of the story is essentially about Olivia. She is a veterinarian and while she is on vacation in Hawaii with her boyfriend, she knows that he is going to propose because she was told by some of his family members and her friends. So she's waiting. She's super stressed out the entire week and finally, at the end, the last day of her vacation in Hawaii, Adam is about to propose, although she doesn't know it, although she does suspect she's wearing heels and dressed up, and things go really wrong. Suddenly, they're fighting on the plane at Hawaii, and when they're back home, he drops her off at her house at 3 in the morning, leaves her there, and oh yeah, says, by the way, I need a break. Not cool, dude. First of all, in my humble opinion, the break business is the stupidest thing I've ever heard on the entire planet of the Earth or universe or solar system. Maybe I would have been on board with it if I actually liked Olivia and Adam, but I hated both of them from the start, but especially Adam. He was the most annoying, and honestly, he seemed kind of feminine at the beginning, but that's not the point. He was just a really terrible character who didn't know his own mind and was too afraid to propose to the woman he loved, and boo! you and i'm sorry guys i'm sorry olivia and adam but you guys were really freaking lame i don't even know why you have a book because you guys are too boring to have your own book here's adam here's olivia either they need to get together or they need to stay apart for the entirety of their lives they need to make that decision they don't need a 416 page book on whether or not they should do this or that. No, choose one. You don't deserve that many pages. You don't need that many pages. You need one freaking page. Got that? They couldn't make up their minds. They are nonsense. They are rubbish. Liv was not as terrible a character as Adam because she had goals more or less, although she forgot them after being in a relationship. But at the same time, when she didn't want the break at first, she should have got back together with Adam when he first suggested it the day after. But no, she goes all wishy-washy too. And then she's like, you know what? Maybe we do need a break. And Adam's like, yeah, maybe we do. None of them freaking know their own minds. These are like, what, 30 year olds? Both Olivia and Adam just made really bad decisions when they were apart. I don't know if they make bad decisions when they're together too, but when they're apart, they were terrible they compromised themselves morally they did things that they shouldn't have done and i had zero respect for them as characters and zero interest in them attractionally attractively i had zero interest in them as people and characters and atoms they are nothing you guys you don't even deserve atoms that's how much you suck you know what hold up now that i think about it they may actually be the perfect most boring couple ever. They're so sucky that they belong to each other. Honestly, I hated every character in this book though. Not even one single one that I liked. They were just too weird, too unrealistic, too shallow, too did not know their own minds and that is honestly really annoying like i have to agree with wendworth from persuasion by jane austen heck yeah please know your own mind or like shut up and don't put yourself in a book i did like one thing about adam and Liv, and that was that they supported each other when other people were putting them down but if they did that why didn't they do it when they were together why didn't they actually have this affection and instead they did stupid things while they were on break why did they even have the break in the first place why adam why is that your first instinct run away Away from the problem. Are you five? This entire book was just Adam and Liv running away from their problems and making excuses for why they had to be on break and using the excuses to make really bad decisions and they were just being stupid and stubborn throughout the entire book and I hated them for it and I could not get through this book fast enough. I probably skimmed like the entire 416 pages because it was that bad. I kid you not, it was that bad. I can very confidently conclude that I probably never should have picked this book up, not because it isn't my genre, not because it's too adulty for me. No, no, because I only read good books with great characters and plots and you know what not even a great plot Just like a little tiny plot that makes sense a little teeny storyline a little bit likable characters or realistic characters This book had absolutely none of that It's not that I don't read adult books. It's that I don't read boring as hell adult books sass 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 I'm so sorry if that review sounded mean, but you don't understand how much I despise that book. It was so bad. It ruined my life. I don't even know how I got through it. And I got through it pretty quickly too after I just like sat down on the bed and I was like, Preeti, you're gonna finish this. And I finished it and I did it, but it hurt. I hurt here, I hurt here, I hurt everywhere. My expert opinion, do not touch this book. Stay far, far away from this book.
Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and as always, thank you for being here. I hope this did not emotionally traumatize you. Just know that I'm not always this mean. Bop, bop, bop.